Curve Fitting This video is on fitting of exponential and logarithmic curves. First of all, let's see the types of questions that can be asked. Fit a curve y is equal to a b raised to x or it can be asked to fit a curve y is equal to a x raised to b or y is equal to a e raised to bx. So let's see this one by one. First is y is equal to a b raised to x. The first step that we have to do is to take logarithm on both sides. So I'll write it like this log of y to the base e is equal to log a plus log of b raised to x which will be x log b to the base e. Then we have to put log y as capital Y, log a to the base e as capital A, small x as capital X, and log b to the base e as capital B. So as you can see, the equation will become y is equal to a plus bx. And for this, the normal equations will be sigma y is equal to na plus b sigma x and sigma xy is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x squared. So these will be the two normal equations. Then for the second, that is y is equal to ax raised to b. So again we'll take logarithm on both sides. It will be log y to the base e is equal to log a to the base e plus b log x to the base e. Here we'll put log y is equal to capital Y, log a as capital A, b as capital B and log x as capital X. Why are we doing this? So that we get this equation y is equal to a plus bx. Then again in the previous one as I told the normal equations for y equal to a plus bx for this also the normal equations will be the same. Then for the third one y is equal to a e raised to bx. Again we'll have to take logarithm on both sides so log y to the base e. Is equal to log a to the base e plus bx log e to the base e. We know that log e to the base e is equal to 1. Here putting log y is equal to capital Y log a is equal to capital A b as capital B and X as capital X. So again we get this equation Y is equal to A plus BX. And we already know the normal equations for this. Let's see one example. Fit the exponential curve Y is equal to A E raised to BX to the following data. These are the values of x and y. We have to fit 
y equal to a e raised to b x to this data. So the first step will be to take logarithm on both sides. Log y to the base e is equal to log a to the base e plus b x log e to the base e. Next, you will have to write down put log y to the base e equal to y log a to the base e is equal to a then b is equal to capital B then x is equal to capital X so the equation will become y is equal to a plus bx and the normal equations will be sigma y is equal to na plus b sigma x sigma xy is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square see here we need sigma x sigma y sigma xy and sigma x square accordingly we'll make the table so the first column will be for x values second column for y values in third column you will have to find out capital X in the fourth column capital Y then you'll have to find out capital X square and finally capital X into capital Y so as we know capital X is equal to X so here all the values of X will come then how to find out this capital Y? It will be log Y to the base E. So in calculator, we'll find out the value of ln Y. Then for X square, you will just have to square the values of this X and capital X into capital Y means multiplying the values of X into Y. So let's just see the table. So as I told that this capital X will be the values of X. So 0, then 2, 4, 6, 8. Then how to find out capital Y? So just find ln Y. So ln Y means ln 150. It comes out to be 5.0106 ln 63 4.1431 ln 28 is 3.3322 ln 12 is 2.4849 and ln 5.6 is 1.7228 then finding out x square so square of 0 is 0 then square of 2 so 4 square of 4 so it will be 16 square of 6 is 36 and square of 8 is 64 then find out x into y so 0 into this value so it will be 0 2 into 4.1431 it is coming 8.2862 4 into 3.3322 is coming 13.3288 6 into 2.4849 it is 14.9094 and 8 into 1.7228 is 13.7824 next we'll find out sigma of capital X which is coming 20 then Sigma of capital Y on adding these values we get 16.6936 then find out Sigma X square which is coming as 120 and finally sigma xy 
it is coming as 50.3068 I don't have space so I'll erase this so sigma xy is equal to 50.3068 the next step is to substitute all these values in the normal equations so the first equation is sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x and the second equation is sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square so let's just substitute the values so sigma y is 16.6936 there were five values given to us so n will be equal to 5 so it is 5a plus sigma x is 20 so 20b sigma xy is 50.3068 sigma x is 20 so it will be 20a plus sigma x square is 120 so this will be 120 B I'll write this equations again so 5a plus 20 B is equal to 16.6936 and 20 a plus 120 B is equal to 50.3068 on solving this equations we are getting a equal to 4.9855 and b is equal to minus 0.4117 then as we get the values of a and b we will substitute these values in log a to the base e is equal to capital A and second is small b is equal to capital B so this will be of course minus 4.117 and we'll have to find out the value of small a using this so log a to the base e is equal to capital A which is 4.9855 So A will be equal to E raised to 4.9855. On solving this, we get A is equal to 146.28. Then we'll substitute the values of A and B in Y is equal to a e raised to b x hence we get y is equal to 146.28 into e raised to minus 0.4117 x hence this is the best fitting exponential curve to the given data Thank you.